what intrigued you about this job and kind of take us through that process? You know, during my high school days, you know, coaching high school football in Dallas, uh, 01 to 2011, you know, we patterned our staff after Oklahoma. Everything we did, it was cut and paste straight from Oklahoma. Mindset, the grit, the style, the physicality, the intimidation, all of that, that came from the University of Oklahoma. And I always said to myself, if I ever get the chance to work with these guys, that's a no-brainer for me. I don't care what other option I have, what other, or any kind of current situation I have, that's, that's a no-brainer for me. You know, so it, it was destined. And uh, it was just unbelievable. Like I was telling the recruit last night, you know, I, I got a couple of pictures of my phone, me and my family and my kids, which is in college now. But she was probably like in the fourth or fifth grade at the time. We had the Texas OU game. We sitting on Oklahoma side, and my high school receivers was playing for Texas, but I won't sit on Oklahoma side in my room, and you can see in my face while I'm just locked in to everything that Coach Stoops and Coach Villamos and those guys were doing. Coach, that was a no-brainer. Coach, you obviously have a ton of experience on the prep circuit in the Lone Star State, so mm -hmm. obviously that's been a state that – this program's recruited heavily over the years. What do you feel like you can bring to the table and how can you be an asset in that regard? Well, I can just continue to, to, to create that, to, to, to build that bridge from Oklahoma to the state of Texas, not only Dallas, but the state of Texas. Uh, 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 oh, you always had presses in the state of Texas. I just felt like uh, with me having success I had in Dallas, Dallas Independent School District, uh, getting a chance to work here at Oklahoma, it's like a no-brainer. I, mean, I, I just got more guys from those areas that's very, even more intrigued with being a part of Oklahoma's program. And you mentioned OU and all of its pools, but as far as Brent personally, I mean, what, what, where does your relationship go back to and, and other relationships on those coaches? Uh, just him coming to Skyline, him and Coach Stoops coming to Skyline. I can remember being in the office with him and Coach Samples multiple times, uh, watching film, and I'm sitting back and just watching this every step. Um, but the same type of grit, the same type of attitude he have, I have that too. Uh, and that's what attracted me to him. You know, but the person he is too, you know, just him just being genuine, being honest, being a true guy, not faking about anything, that that caught my attention a lot. You know, you do your research with guys, he done coached in the past, and a lot of guys, a lot of players he coached, say nothing but good things about it. Real love. How much with, with Coach Levy being at Baylor, was there a relationship that formed there with him? Man, it was a huge relationship. You know, I remember those guys coming over to South Oak Hill, spending tons of amount of time in my office. Honest to God, true. And it was something about uh, the game back in Lubbock when uh, – we got in pregame. I remember being at the 50-yard line with the punt returners, and I was bagging up, and I accidentally bumped into Coach Levy. <laughs> and there was something about that bump right there. You know, it was something about that bump, and uh, I got that phone call from him a couple of days later, and here we are now. You know, but uh, he's one of probably one of the best offensive coordinators you know in the country. You know, and it's different offense for me, and I want to continue to grow. An opportunity to work for him, shoots and with him. Like I say, no brain. What kind of what do you think about your group that's coming in? I love my classroom. I love my classroom. Uh, I got all types of skills set there. And, and the good thing about it, we kind of young too. Young, but um, eager to learn, eager to gain experience. You know, we got length, we got uh, we got, uh, uh, got uh, true slots, uh, smaller type bodies, guys that has grit. I still got my man Drake Stoops with me. It's another coach in the room, does everything right, practices tail off. And I was sitting in the room the other day, uh, even when I was at KU, even when I, when I was at Texas Tech, watching film on University of Oklahoma, I used to always ask my room, like, why is this guy on the field for the University of Oklahoma with the type of receivers they have in the room? But being around him, I see why now. He's a true student. he gives you everything he got, and he'll fight for you. I told the coaches, I'm going to walk down any dark alley in South Dallas with him. Any dark alley. That'd be one of the first guys I'd grab to walk down that dark alley. Love it. Love my room. You talk about the impression that you had where you're from far, having been coaching high school. What's the reality been like compared to that, you know, the impression from before. I'm just, I'm still amazed, man. You know, when I exit the highway, exit Lindsay, I'm still amazed. I remember being on that bus my first year with Cliff Kingsbury. We came to Norman to play, and I remember we took that exit to come down Lindsay, drive to the stadium. And I remember saying to myself, oh, boy, I feel like we made the wrong turn. We done just not the right turn to make. And, I still, and, and, and when I come down that road, you can ask my wife, I still get chills uh, just driving past those houses. It brings back all types of memories. I done been on all sides of it. Uh, Oklahoma that came in my office and recruited players, coached against Oklahoma for the last nine years. And now I'm playing with them and helping, helping those guys bring, it, bring banners uh, and bring in elite level recruits also too. So. Shoots, man, I'm still like on cloud 99, to be honest with you, you know, so it's every bit of what everybody think about OU.
You know, and that's one thing I tell a lot of recruits and parents back in Texas is it's a, every bit what you think from the outside in is only going to get better also too. You talk about that in the Texas game. Who was the receiver that you were there? Mike watching? Davis. Okay. Mike Davis. You mentioned the adjustment to Coach Levy's offense. What's that kind of been like with you getting up to speed there? Ball is ball. You know, everybody have different terminology. You know, things we call certain things, he may call it something totally different. What we call this, they may call it that same term may mean something else here. So that's pretty much about it. Good ball is good ball. You know, uh, that don't change at all. Uh, but his thought process, man, I see why he used to say score from far. I see why he liked to have true speed. I see why he liked to bring in the best that play in his system. Uh, because the way he has to build up, man, at any moment, this, this offense can score from being on the football field. I'm just going to help him bring in nothing but firepower to put points on the board.